On the 2nd of May 1983, Microsoft released the first Microsoft mouse. It was their first mouse and featured a design that became known as the green-eyed mouse because of the two distinct green buttons. The mouse came bundled with Microsoft Word, Notepad and an on-screen teaching tool. The price was $195 or $537 at 2021 prices. The mouse had a slightly curved design that was not common at the time. Mice of this era were predominantly block shaped. The movement of the mouse was undertaken by a steel ball placed on the underside of the mouse. The mouse was compatible with all IBM compatible PCs and the several flavours of DOS that were available at the time. In 1984, Microsoft invented the first Xero mouse by making a hybrid of a Xerox model. Xerox had commissioned its own mouse after it abandoned the Xerox 8010 optical mouse of 1981. This prototype was named the Xerox Star. The Star had an RJ45 style connector that would not work in a regular IBM PC. When you looked at the bottom of this mouse, it was clear that the ball and housing was very similar to the green-eyed mouse of 1983. In 1985, Microsoft released the grey-eyed mouse. With wraparound command buttons designed to fit naturally in the palm of any size hand, details may sound a bit droll, but the benefits are very practical. It boasted twice the resolution of most other mice, 200 points per inch. This was version 5.0 of the Microsoft mouse, and it won hardware awards for its innovative use of rubber coating on the steel tracking ball. This was made for near silent operational use no matter the surface. Easy access to clean the tracking ball and direction wheels was enabled through a twist-off retainer ring. As with the green-eyed model, the mouse had a curved appearance and the buttons were more accessible on the top of the mouse housing. Version 5.0 of the mouse bought a return of the ISA expansion card that was required to use the mouse. This then freed up the serial port on the PC. The connector looked similar to the PS2 connector, but the difference could be seen up close. The mouse had a bar across the inner opening and used nine pins instead of six pins. In 1987, Microsoft was selling 50,000 units a month, totaling half a million mice altogether. The latest version of the mouse was nicknamed the Dove Mouse. This came in two versions, a serial PS2 compatible and the previous import edition. The import edition was converted to serial using a grey block adapter called the mouse adapter. The serial ports for the Dove Mouse were D9, with was what a very long cable for the time. In a change to the previous design, the buttons were an integrated style and clicked down from the housing instead of protruding upwards as before. The design was four inches long and two and an eighth inches wide, making for a more narrow feel in the hand. Many of these models were still being seen in the late 90s due to the robust nature of the design. For the 1991 year, Microsoft introduced a new ballpoint mouse designed for use with the laptops of this era. It was designed to be clamped to the side of a laptop and then connected with a serial connector. In 1993, Microsoft changed the version name of the mouse and released the Microsoft Mouse 2.0, despite there already having been a version 5.0 in 1985. This was nicknamed the Kidney Mouse due to the shape and was available for Windows 3.1 DOS. The design was the precursor for the Microsoft IntelliMouse of 1996. The Microsoft Mouse 2.0 shipped with New IntelliPoint software package, which enables you to do things like magnify the screen to the location of the mouse cursor and configure what each of the buttons do when you click them. 1996 marked a major breakthrough from Microsoft. The IntelliMouse was released. This mouse is credited with introducing a number of innovations. The first of these was the scroll wheel, which appeared on July 22, 1996. The wheel enabled scrolling through documents and most significantly websites on the burgeoning World Wide Web. The first mouse was followed in November 1997 with the IntelliMouse trackball. This was designed for finger use on the trackball and again featured the scroll wheel. A minor revision was made in May 1998 with the IntelliMouse Pro. This had a more asymmetrical shape with a redesigned arch profile. At the Comdex Expo in 1999, Microsoft broke new ground with the IntelliMouse Explorer. This mouse used an optical tracking technology called IntelliEye. The mouse no longer had a tracking ball and was usable on virtually any surface. Anyone who had used a mouse on a regular basis at the time knew how quickly the trackball became dirty. This resulted in jerky mouse movements or the dreaded up and down movement of the mouse cursor in straight lines. The optical eye ended the practical failings of the mouse design by enabling a mouse that was resistant to the often dusty environment of office desks. 
the IntelliMouse Explorer was finished in silver and featured a red LED tail light at the back of the mouse to emphasise the optical nature of the mouse. The mouse was released in October 1999 to critical acclaim. Building on the success of the Explorer, Microsoft announced the next model, the IntelliMouse Optical, would be released in April 2000. This featured an ambidextrous design with five buttons, two on top, a scroll wheel and one on either side of the mouse. The five buttons combined with the IntelliMouse software, allowing the user to create their own custom actions when using the mouse. This model now supported the plug and play system through a USB connection. When someone connected the mouse to Windows, it would automatically install and be available for use. No driver disk or CD was required making it the mouse of choice for the travelling laptop user. Hot on the heels of the optical came the wireless IntelliMouse Explorer in September 2001 and then the Bluetooth edition in 2002. Both mice were bundled with a wireless Bluetooth keyboard by Microsoft to provide a total cableless experience on the desktop. The IntelliMouse continued to be updated with new features in the early noughties, including a tilting scroll wheel to allow for horizontal scrolling and new colours such as Cobalt Basin and Crimson Fire. The growing market for PC gaming led to the IntelliMouse Explorer being discontinued and re-released in August 2006 as the IntelliMouse Explorer 3. The emphasis was now placed on the 9000 frames per second sensor. From the mid-noughties onwards Microsoft stopped releasing new mice. Some would argue that the design had reached its nadir and that further improvements were unnecessary. It was not until 2017 that Microsoft revived the series with the classic IntelliMouse. This model introduced BlueTrack technology that allowed for use of the mouse on glass, one surface that previous optical mice had failed to operate using. The latest release was the Pro IntelliMouse that had an upgraded sensor. This was released in May 2019. The Microsoft mouse has now been available for nearly 40 years. Many of the features of contemporary mice are thanks to the advances introduced by Microsoft. The Microsoft mouse stands as one of the most important and significant hardware technologies developed by the Seattle software behemoth.